Hello my friends, hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Georgi and you're watching Just Shake or Steer. It's been nearly two years since I started this journey on YouTube and I can't believe till now I never did the Clover Club. So it's time to fix this mistake. So as you can see boys and girls I have already one cocktail ready and this is the basic version which is using fresh fruit, a simple syrup, a gin and lemon juice. This is it. Simplicity like that. Then we're gonna do a Julie Rayner recipe which have uh, kind of a bring the Clover Club to the modern classics using a dry vermouth. Finally, we're gonna do a more kind of a funky fruity version which it's using a sweet vermouth and a dry vermouth in the same time and also using a raspberry jam instead of fresh fruit or instead of the raspberry syrup. And when I saying syrup, make sure you check the description down below or the cards in some point when they pop out about the perfect raspberry syrup you can make at home. I've already did video on that. So yeah, I'm gonna make them all, I'm gonna test and then we talk about it. So, boys and girls, if you're ready, let's make three versions of the Clover Club and see which one is my favorite. Okay, my friends, so we have the three Clover Clubs. The basic one or the one which you probably not gonna be served in many places. So this is fresh raspberries, sugar syrup, gin, lemon juice. Absolutely simple. So let's give it a try. Exactly what you expect. A wonderful gin raspberry sour end of the story fantastic lovely flavor from the raspberries fresh raspberries perfect balance can drink it all day long absolutely amazing easy to make spot on the second one is julie reiner version which it's uh introducing the dry vermouth to the mix so we lower a little bit the lemon juice we're introducing the raspberry syrup and of course a dry vermouth so let's give it a go Mmm. Now here we go, the gin sour is turning to something else here. We have these herbal notes from the vermouth, a little bit more tart and a dry on the tongue, which is expected because of the dry vermouth and obviously the lemon is down, so we don't have too much acidity, but because it's a raspberry syrup, you don't have fresh raspberries and a sugar syrup like in the basic one, the raspberry presence it's not that dominant like in the basic one but a lovely so last one let's see what's gonna happen with the jam so the last one guys is basically splitting the vermouth so we have a dry vermouth and we have vermouth rosso of course we lower down a little bit the lemon juice and instead of raspberry syrup i did use a raspberry jam 
So as you can see, the colors of the whole tree is really different. The basic with the fresh raspberries, fantastic rich color. Then you have with the syrup, the expected color, which is a pink. And here, because we have the jam and we have the sweet vermouth, which is a rosso, it's more on the dark side. So let's give it a try. Wow. That is just like a totally different cocktail. Yeah, absolutely different. Raspberries, it's pretty much gone. I mean, you can feel them a little bit because it's a raspberry jam. I presume it's going to be exactly the same if I use raspberry syrup. So maybe doing this one with the fresh raspberries, but instead of three fresh raspberries doing five, it may change a little bit more to the fruity side. So if I have to pick one, uh, the funky one here with the jam, it's not really my jam, okay? I mean, it's nice, but mm, a little bit losing the character of the Clover Club. Then the modern classic from uh, Julie Reynard, it's absolutely fantastic. This, I can drink it probably as a maybe starter of the evening, just before meal because of the dryness. It's really nice. It's gonna cleanse my palate. It's gonna kind of open my appetite. So I really like that. But drinking it as just any time of the day, I'll be sticking to the, just a classic simple one. Three fresh raspberries, gin, lemon juice, sugar syrup. Simple as that. Absolutely fantastic. So boys and girls, if you did like this video, you know the drill. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I got a news for you. Monday's drum is coming back, okay? I know I miss few weeks. It's just because of my new job. I kind of a, trying to figure out my timing. It's coming back, so stick around. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the Monday drums. And make sure you check the community post because I have a kind of a questionnaire going there. What's gonna happen in, in the channel in 2022? And it's up to you already have some ideas but make sure you check the post and leave your vote or a comment and that's it now i'm gonna go enjoy this tree well i'll share with my wife but yes we're gonna swap try decide which one she likes more and of course as always i love you and i leave you bye bye Best one, best one.